I wish we could have had an open form like on the radio. We, we'll do that next time. Do a radio show. You know, uh, conference call, radio show, conference call, something online. Shalom, yeah, shalom. shalom. Corn off. To the dark, Sean. Right. So what we're going to do, we have a few people in the room. We're going to um, have open questions about uh, uh, the laws of the land, right? Uh, any question you may have, uh, you know, ask a brother. And, um, and also in the comment box, ask some questions, you know, um, and we can see if they can get back, see the brother get back with you and I. Respond to it, you know, because what we're trying to do, we're trying to set up a lecture in D.C. Because a, a lot of our people, our young folks, man, and old folks catch it hell not knowing the law. You know, with, dealing with their property, you know, uh, East Orders coming in to take your property, man. Boom. You, you, you don't know why. You know, uh, a lot of stuff is going on. We don't know. what We don't, like I said before about child support. We don't know what's going on, you know, we because we don't know. We don't know. We don't read, man. We don't read. So a lot of these things, we need to start coming together, man, you know, uh, uh, dealing with these type of issues. So, um, any, you got I got a question, actually, that the brother can answer. It's dealing with um, uh, Jake in the poverty-stricken areas. When they're outside, they're irrelevant. They don't know the law. So when a cop pulls up and asks them, hey, what you doing? Let me see your ID. <laughs> on the grounds of an incrimination and they haven't committed a crime could you basically explain like how should that go well <clears throat> the, the initial part well first of all to, to the people that's actually watching this video and listening um, so if you want to reach you, you can actually um, reach out by emailing creditors debtors contracts at yahoo.com or just visit the website um, www.creditorsdebtorscontractsandcommerce.org So to answer that question, the first problem with that is the status that that particular individual may be in. So for instance, like policemen are taught to operate on presumption and assumption. So automatically they think that we're all under the same status. Like they, they can't look at me and tell whether or not that my status has changed from yours. So generally, we're all just, you know, presumed to be incompetent wars at the state. So if they see a bunch of people together, I mean, they still got statues on the book. And first of all, it's not a law, it's a statue. It's a color of law. It looks like it's law, but it's not really law. It's color of law. So it resembles the law, but it only applies to you if you believe it applies to you. So what they actually do is if they ask you for the identification... And, you know, identify means to make the same. When you look it up, so you want to pull out in Black Lord's Dictionary? See if you can find identifying it. It means to make the same. So when you have an, a, a driver's license or some sort of government ID, that's not you. It's something that resembles you. And so what they're trying to do is create joinder with you and that particular ID. And then once you say that's you, they establish the joinder. Now you're susceptible to everything of that corporation, oh. that corporate construct. So that's how they get you. So um, this is why sometimes when they um, take people in, and if you don't sign anything, and if you don't proclaim the name, if you don't refer to yourself as the name, if you say anything, I mean, your name could be cut off. Mm -hmm. But if they take you in, and you just, they say, what is your name? You know, they might not feed you or something. Mm -hmm. They just <laughs> keep, keep trying to get a name and a signature from you. Mm. If you just say your name's John, they don't care if it's your real name. Right. They can identify something to you now, like a confession that came from you. Mm -hmm. So now you acknowledge yourself as John. They'll just say you was lying later on. Right. You know, but now you know you subject yourself to the jurisdiction. So what you got on that? You, you find that? Identify. In the law of evidence, sameness. See, it creates the same. Mm -hmm. So the ID, we think that it's us, right? Mm -hmm. Because we took a photo, but it's not you. It's just a corporation. It's something representing you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, go ahead, brother. The fact that a subject, person, or thing before a court is the same as it is represented, claimed, or charged to be. Yeah, so so when the police pull us over, like whether we're in a group or individual, the first thing they do is ask you for identification. Sometimes mm -hmm. registration. Mm -hmm. Or give me a driver's license and registration. Then if you don't have it, they tell you that they'll lock you up. But there's no... There's no law in the book stating that. You know, some places are trying to create statues. But here's the thing. Like, when they when they suggest things to you like that, you got to ask them, is that an order? Are you giving me an order? Uh, is that an order? And 
they may look at you a little dumbfounded, like, hey, what is this guy talking about? But you got to ask them, is that an order? Because if it is, then you react on the order longer. So you made a good statement. You said um, the police or the agency. Right. So uh, what, hypothetically speaking, would it be a wrong thing if I asked a cop, if he would ask me a question like that, if I haven't committed a crime, to show me his delegation of authority? Well, uh, I would ask them to show me. Um, usually a police is supposed to have like three forms of ID. You know, he, he has his badge number. He has a, um, some sort of ID in his pocket. And he generally carries some other type of form of ID. Mm. If he doesn't have all three of those, he's generally out of uniform. Mm. But most of them won't comply to that. Huh. Because they'll take that as an, a, an offensive gesture. And they're trying to come back against you or get against the car and all of that. Right, right. So, I mean, then from that point, and, and understand this. Anytime a police officer stops you, it could be for 30 seconds. That's an arrest. Mm, That's right. a short arrest. Mm. Because if you asked him, am I under arrest? Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't answer you deliberately, I will leave. If I'm not under arrest, I'm going to be leaving now. I've had and, that happen yeah. too. And if I am under arrest, what is your probable cause for stopping me? Come. You know what I mean? And it can't be just because you look suspicious. Right. But it's just it's not good enough. So if he does, like, I wouldn't resist, like, with force. Mm -hmm. But I would resist from the standpoint that I say that something along the line, like, well... I'm operating under protest and duress. Mm -hmm. I'm being coerced into this. Mm -hmm. Because now, you can deal with that later. Right. You right. can deal with that later. Yeah. And bring a suit against him. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, and I don't mean the uniform. I mean, find out the man's name and bring a personal lawsuit against him. Oh, because okay. a civil suit is something different. Like, you'll try and sue the organization, mm -hmm. which will generally take years. But if you bring a suit against him, they're likely take him off at the department a little more speedily. Right. Because you're going against this man personally. So they'll fire him. Right. So that, I mean, because they don't want all this right, right. against the entire organization. Right. Well, you got to deal with this situation. Right, 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 right. You know, right, right, right. You know and, uh, wow, that's, and I hope we can go a little further than that. But <clears throat> something that caught my attention when you were talking about identifying and uh, the person, if you say that's you. And it brought me to uh, uh, the artist uh, Prince. His name was Prince uh, Roger artist Nelson. Yeah. And he was under contract with Warner Brothers. And what he did was... He changed his, uh, I didn't say he changed his name, but he, it was like a symbol. He, 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 was not, he was no longer that person. And it worked. Right. He was able to still make music, right, under a symbol with something they could not identify. And he was still able to make his music. But if he would have stayed under Prince, he was still under the contract with um, right. Warner Brothers. Right. I just found that, I mean, that was, I just found it interesting that you said that dealing with uh, identifying a person because mm. you know? he, he rescind, essentially what he did was rescind that contract like and, and everything and this is when, when someone like that attorney that was on set net show so all that stuff mm -hmm. does, doesn't work well I contend that it does and the mm. reason does it, it doesn't work for some people is because they don't know contract law mm. but so I mean that, essentially that's what you always want to do is to create a contract like if someone's on a contract for child support mm -hmm. like you have they're not going to just stop that like you have to rescind and amend that contract. So um, you have to create, say if someone sent me something in the mail, and I know a brother that's like going through this back and forth, mm -hmm. they can't serve him properly. Right, 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 right. You know, um, they just keep trying to get the brother served. Eh? Mm -hmm. and, and now they have the point that they're sending him like le like regular letters mm -hmm. that's looked like me. He told me they sent him a letter with flowers on it. It looked like it was from a female. And it was the same lady trying to serve him <laughs> with paperwork. <laughs> no, I'm serious, man. <laughs> So he keeps sending them back. <laughs> so they can't get him properly served. Oh, and he went to court and he defeated them in court. Oh, so now they're frustrated. And I mean, but they still haven't right, served him. Right. So he's still not paying. Right. So I mean, for everyone that said it doesn't work, I contend that it does. Yeah. But you react accordingly mm -hmm. and effectively, man. So that, that would be um, constituted as due process. When, when they have to serve you. Because for, in order for them to drag you in court, you have to be given time to respond. Right. So if you put the service off, then you know the court case is pretty much irrelevant until they can get you, sir. Right. So when you so when they, when they bring you look in the mail, the, I mean, uh, not looking at the mailman knock on the door. He got the white envelope with the little green. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never seen that before. That's oh, boom! I close. <laughs> I close it up real quick. So so what the Sam Hill is that? That's that's what they trying to do there. Yeah, that's a certified letter. Okay, good. So, I mean, and usually they just, just sign it. People right. just sign it. They don't even know yeah, what the they're signing. First time it. I done that, and I was like, I, first time, young man, I signed it. Now look, I was like, what the hell is suing me? 
You know, so yeah, okay, it's like a quit. Yeah, I mean, but if anyone send me anything certified, I generally don't accept it. Oh, and and plus, they li- they generally don't have an address to link to me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I kind of just operate totally off of the grid. Right, they, right, right. But if someone does send you something for a signature, if I don't know what it is, I would send it back. Send it back. Don't don't accept it. Right. But now you have states that have statues like Virginia. Um, they have statues in place that. You don't have to sign for it. The mm. sheriff affix it to your door, mm-hmm. and you've been served. Uh, Whereas New York, like, you know, they mail it to you. If someone sends it back and say they don't live there, you haven't been properly served. Right, right. So you don't right, have right. to show up. But in Virginia, no, it's fine. It's fine. You got to show up. Okay. Well, that's well. There we go, people. That's something uh, that you can. And that's get statutory. Right. That's a statutory law. See, they call it a law, but it's just a statute. Mm-hmm. It, it's it, you know, it's a statute, an act. A code, all of that is something that a group of people got together and decided, you know what, we're going to make this law. It's not something that stems from the scriptures. Right. And that, you know, in a commonality that the average man or woman would agree to. Right, right. It's just a group of people, like, you know, like a de facto government, politicians got together, say, you know what, um, since so many people are becoming homosexuals, you know, let's push SpongeBob and these cartoons and promote it to people that way. And now the Supreme Court, mm-hmm. hey, let, let's make it a law. Mm-hmm. They tell people it's a law and then everybody fall for it. Mm. It's just like the what they call gun laws where you got to have a permit. If we catch you without a permit, then you got to do two or three years. Interesting. I'm glad you brought that up now. So how can the state go against the Constitution? They can't. See, the, the, the thing in the Constitution, this is where people go wrong. They believe that the Constitution was created to control the people. But the people created the Constitution to control, control the, government. the politicians, the politician, right. to control the government, mm-hmm. to control the states. And so when the state goes against it, it's because people are not holding them to the Constitution. Mm. Like, they're sworn in both to a state constitution and the Constitution of the Federal Republic. Okay. There's two constitutions that all public officials must abide by. So when people go to court, sometimes they'll say, well, you, are you under your constitution today? And then the judge will make mockery of him. Nah, not today, maybe next week. So, I mean, he's knowing, he's knowing that these mm. people are not really well-versed. Mm. you got to say, you know what, um, for the record, if it's a court of record, then I would like the court to acknowledge every officer of the court oath today. Mm. Because that oath is him swearing under the Constitution. Understand what I mean? Mm. So, now you held them to the Constitution. Right. And when you say for the record, they're putting it on the record. Right. Like So, it means it's recorded on the record. No, I've actually seen, because see... I've actually seen someone say, I want this person n- number so uh, name name so I can sue. I want that, right and and I heard a judge say, I'm not giving you not no, 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 no. I'm suing all of y'all. I'm suing the attorney, I'm suing the person's doing the typing. Right. So I I, I seen this and I'm like, man, this person lost their damn mind. And so so I'm trying to figure out now what is the process? Because like I said, at the end of the day, Esau can do what the hell they want to do. Yeah, right. Right, but what is the process? Like you say, the people have to fight or do whatever. What is the process of actually suing that person that's, that's a recording, that's a part of their, uh, that business? Well, I mean, uh, any, any officer of the court, mm-hmm. they took an oath to uphold the Constitution. So now, if you go against that oath, mm-hmm. you're doing something that's referred to as barratry. Hey, you'll see if you can find that in there. And black laws, bar tree. Like, you know, so when they, when when you go against something that you took an oath against, mm-hmm. you're warring against the Constitution. So this is why everyone that they have to take the stand, they tell them to either swear or affirm to tell the truth. Yeah. Because yeah, right. they're trying to hold you to an oath. Right. So when you tell them, hey, um, you know, for the record, I would like the court to acknowledge your oath. Right, look that up too. You're making sure that they abide by the Constitution mm-hmm. because now you're keeping them Within you know a certain perspective and okay. vicinity, man. Well, that, that's uh, that's that's interesting. Because, you know, and I, I think we need to know this stuff. You know, but we can speak. But how do how do we make it? How do you apply it? Right. How do we that's apply it? That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, um, so like any time that you go into court, I think I might have mentioned this before. I can't remember if I mentioned it the last time I was over here. Like, there's three. There's really three actually initial stages. Oh, you got it. Got it. In criminal law, the act of offense or a barter, usually called common barter. That's all they. So, that's all they got in that. What addition is that? Uh, usually, it's a little more. What is it? This that, that was a little different. Five, four. Let me see. Barter. Let me read this one. Oh, 
I see. I and you see the definition yeah. of state in here too. Yeah. Boy, and you sisters read. can read that too. I'm leaving nowhere but y'all. Y'all, y'all can read. Y'all can read out of that. Yo, so I kind of lost my chain of thought with that when you brought out the barn tree. But you had he's about to ask me something. Oh no, well, I was just saying what, how we uh, implement, how we make this, how, how do we bring it into action? You know, uh, a lot of like what you're saying. How do we make this stuff actually work with contracts? Every okay. now, give me. You know, I, you know I, I got a question for you. Okay. Like, give me one thing that I could do that doesn't involve a contract in this setup. Give me one thing that I could actually do in this system, in this whole system. And, and I'm gonna tell you, there's only four doors that we could go through in any, in all commercial, because the whole system is based on commercial law. I don't, I don't care if it's a criminal offense. It's still based on commercial law. They're just not telling people that because when they lock the people up, they're profiting on them hand over fist. Mm -hmm. Like when they put criminals in jail, you're bonded. Like so for every day that they keep you there, like they bond you. Like when you bond something, like you back it with a certain amount of dollars. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, like um, when someone has some business or something like that, they're usually bonded. So if it was worth 10000 it might be worth like 200000 by the time they finish bonding it. You right. understand what I'm saying? Okay. They do that to prisoners. So, I mean, they have something known as a CUSIT number that, um, and, and this is why people don't get out of jail when they go, uh, like if they go to prison or something, mm -hmm. they create what is known as a, cu a CUSIT number and the mm -hmm. officials are actually profiting from that number. So most people that actually get out of jail um, with like an optional form 90 and 91 mm -hmm. is they found out who had the CUSIT number mm. and they get them out of prison that way. But the problem is when people start doing that, it's like, damn, how, not, how did they know this? Yeah. Like, you know, so they start looking for the person that got them out. Mm. And I know a couple guys, you know, that was doing that. And, you know, oh, they got caught up. No, nah, I mean, he didn't get <laughs> caught up. It was just like, you know, because people were supposed to pay him like five, ten thousand right, dollars right. to get a family member out. And, you know, um, so I guess they start giving them up. Well, so and so. Right. so and they was just, you know, literally getting them out of jail, but they wasn't paying him. Well, let me ask you, because I, don't, I, don't, I want to touch on a lot of different things. Someone go to jail. Now, if you if you done a crime, man, truth tell you got you know you got to pay for it. You understand? Um, according to the scriptures. According though. to the scriptures, right? right? Now, you have a lot of our brothers. They may go. They got a three strike rule in California. You still a piece of a slice piece. You, you get life, whatever like that. So <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this 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 stuff is crazy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't mean to be laughing. Right, right. You keep but, making everything comical. Right, right, right. But that, I mean, you know, I mean, really, third strike, man. <laughs> A slice of piece of you get life. I would not Yo, live but, in California. But right there, that goes against the scriptures. Yeah, man. man. I mean, I mean, the, the scriptures said man should pay seven times. You know what I mean? Yeah. You don't give him life for stealing yeah, life people. if he's hungry. Life. In fact, the scriptures tells you, you know, to lead some food, you know, around the fields and all that, so that the poor people could eat. Right. There's not supposed to be no poor people. Actually, and and I, I, I can't remember where it was, but actually, in this uh, Black's Law Dictionary it was talking about they have a, you have a right to uh, uh, feed yourself. Right, what they what they call it? Um, I forgot what it is, but they was talking about that. But let me ask you this question: So a person in jail, right? Uh, he may be in there because he couldn't find a job. He had to, and he had to pay child support, all right. And then and then while he had child support, they still putting right. the feed yeah. adding on the guy, right? Right. So he's in jail, and now the system is using him. What is his rights? In jail, as far as like you know what? Well, they make you. Do you have, have to? Do you he, have he, to? He doesn't have any. Check this out. Let, let me stop you right there. The very moment that you commit a crime in this setup, you don't have any rights. Hmm. And what you had was privileges. It, you know, if I, I don't have a constitution Damn. with me. If you read the Thirteenth Amendment, it clearly 14. it clearly tells you. If you are arrested, it doesn't specify what the crime has mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. If you are arrested. You have no rights. So y'all, y'all, y'all hear that? You have nothing. When that police officer lock y'all up, stop saying I know my, I got my rights. You, you don't, don't have, you don't have nothing. You don't have no rights. And that's still in the Constitution. So the the way around Damn. that is you need to present someone as a power of attorney. And this is why the court tell people, well, you know what? If you can't afford an attorney, the court will appoint one for you. Why? Because that public <laughs> defender, that public defender is an officer of the court. Man, ain't no way in that hell. And, and his first obligation is to the court. And y'all, so how are you going to win? You know? But that's a conflict brother. of interest. Brother, but, brother, brother, <laughs> but, but we're not in captivity now, though, right? Yeah, that's what they're saying. Right, we're not in captivity. You, you, you free. You, you, you oh, know, we, come on, man. We, we still in captivity, man. All right? lives matter. Right, but so, right, right. Awesome. <laughs> right. So, so, so what you better do, 
right? We're going to follow this law. That's our first principle. We're going to serve the most high, right? But you better know what else is going around you, man. Right. You need, you need to know these things. You I know? wish I told him that, man. Right. Say yeah. it again. I'm sorry, I missed what you said. No, no, I was saying yeah, I was trying to. Talk oh about yeah, that. so you, I mean, so y'all, y'all better, y'all, the of the land, y'all you know? better wake up. If anybody, anybody disagree with the brother saying here, put it there, man, put it there, and okay. let's ha- and let's ha- and let's have a dialogue on it, right? To say, you know what? Because I heard people say, I have heard people say, man, why not? You know, teach the word, man. This is right, 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 right. You, 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 you know, so I'm, I'm like, what are you talking about? So. Uh, in that case, then tell your children, don't go to school. Don't teach them how to read. Don't tell them to stop when the light is red. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, all, all this, man. You know, So we are under law, statutes, commandments of the Most High, but we have to understand the, this system laws too. Right? This system laws too. So anybody else got a question? Question, 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 question. Got no question. Like, every, every problem, let me say this, brother. Mm-hmm. Every problem that we have in our lives, um, currently it comes from the infliction of mm-hmm. commerce. Mm-hmm. It's always commercial. Mm-hmm. Even if it's a criminal offense, it's commercial. It's dealing with a contract mm-hmm. of some sort. It's from the infliction of commerce, whether that be your failed marriage, you know, then create a hardship right. with money and all that and mm-hmm. causing you to argue. It's the infliction of commerce upon the people within the society. And that's a sad thing. So I mean Sad but true. Sad but true. So uh the brother from um, <laughs> Amarad Squad, right? Uh, I want you to prove to me what the brother's saying is wrong, you know, uh, yeah, because because if if, if 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 any brother that's hurting our people, I don't care if you're Israelite or not, man, we need to we they need to be exposed, right? 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 Because me as an Israelite. As an Israelite, I'm gonna show you what we don't. I don't have nobody in my family that's chimpanzee, that's uh, uh that's uh, what orangutan, yeah. right? All what's the other monkeys? I don't have no. I don't have no. Is what you say? Gorilla. Yeah, I don't have right. I don't have no. I don't have any right. None of that. You know. So you're not gonna find no monkeys in my family, right? So I could prove that wrong. So um, prove this to that. Prove it to us. You know, prove it to us. I wonder where Polite got the information from. I, I, you know, I wonder where he got information from. So, like I said, I know this brother been doing this for years. You look at his page, right? And he goes heavy into it. I'm like, man, somebody should be making some money off of this as far as you helping people out, right? And a lot of times Esau, they know a lot of us are waking up in the truth. Right and getting knowledge. That's why they don't want us to read getting knowledge. Right, right. so they, that's why they changing everything so fast. First edition, second edition, right. third edition, right. fourth right. edition, right. fifth right. edition. Right. Six. How many editions do they have? Yeah, and because they got, they got not the country. Yo, there's so many U.S. codes. If you look at U.S. codes, yo, there's no way you can read all those books in a lifetime. <laughs> so they got all kind of statues in there that we would actually never know about. Exactly, exactly. You know, I mean. I'm gonna go through a few just to see some stuff. I saw stuff. They're like, man, what the hell? A lot of stuff you don't realize, man. Like it's one place you, can, some state don't know if it's hour or somewhere you can marry a girl at 12 years old, 13 years old. It's a lot of stuff, man. You 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 could do in this country. And I'm like, damn, this place is wicked. Are they Mormon? Yeah, yeah. No, they not Mormon. <laughs> no, some places they Israelites. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. You can have it. But anyway, another story. So um, I'm gonna wrap it up a little bit, but. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if someone got some questions, they can store fire in some questions. Right. So, right. I mean, I'm sure people out there listening have some questions that they want answered. Right. Just put it on the, like I said, put it on the inbox, you know, and the brother, I'm sure he'll do his due diligence to uh, get back with you, you know, because uh, I would love to, uh, you know, sit down. Me and the brother, we want to try to start doing some things together, you know, uh, but you may be having a lecture in New York, you maybe have some coming up there. I know you say you might do something in Carolina, but for sure, for sure, something will go down in D.C. as far as having a lecture here uh, on this topic because people need to know their rights, man. Huh. You need to know your so-called rights, you know, because you have none, in a right. sense. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, so, and if you don't assert them, you have none. Right. You have none. You have no rights. Right. You don't what know. you have is privileges. And the biggest thing I noticed that a cop will use against you is fear. Mm. When he first roll up on you, his, from his lights to his uniform to his hat, when he approach you, it's all about putting fear in you so you don't be able to utilize your rights. You know, officer, have I committed a crime? I, am I suspected of committing a crime? No. 
Well, then I must be free to go. That That's my general rule of thumb. Yeah, I mean, I, I've got pulled over on <clears throat> driving by, uh, by, by, by being an Israelite. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> right? So I got pulled over, right? And uh, I had one guy, uh, and I didn't know. He said, can I search your vehicle? And I'm like, man, I don't have nothing here. I don't care if you search my vehicle, but my guy's place go. I made as soon as I said that. Yeah, he, he said, man, he, he he told me to wind all my windows down. He said for for his safety. And I was I was saying, my I need it for my safety. You know, because <laughs> I don't want you to see what I got behind here. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to get the jump on you just in case you get me right. But I wind the windows down, right? So he made me step out the car, and uh, I had a truck at the time, and he took everything out of my truck, man, threw it all over the street, right. He found a few knives in there, right? He was like, well, this one is too long. This one, seven, eight inches. And, da, 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 right? you know, what you got this? I had a little police stick. And it was one time I was a security guard. What you doing with this? You know, he he just started writing. I said, damn, this guy's going to, he's going to give me life. Right? Yeah. So I knew a brother that was a police officer. I called him. And he was right up the street where I was working. So he came down. He said, what? He came down there. And he went to the police. He said, man, put everything back in my brother's car. Everything back in my brother's car. This was a, this was a capital police officer. Mm. Right? And it was, uh, this guy was a regular. I want to know the difference between that madness, too, man. This was a capital police officer. Right? No, no. Right, right. right. Then you got capital police. You got park police. You got. Uh, 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 G. What you call it? GSA. You got uh, uh, Metropolitan. You got. Uh, Metro Station, they, 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 all these damn police, all these different firms, man. You got homeless, all these different things. I don't understand what laws are these different. Are they operating the same law? You understand? This is crazy. So anyway, he said, brother, he ain't got to do that. You don't have to show him nothing, nothing. You know, he said he's still lock if he want to. You know, what I'm saying, but you, you, you don't have to show him anything. Yep. You know, so uh, a lot of times we have to show. Uh, my wife and I one time, and I'm letting him chop close up from here. I like to talk. My wife and I, we was a uh, coming from my buddy house one day and uh back then we was drinking alizé right what they call it back then incredible hulk right <laughs> so we was drinking some incredible hulk and um i think i had a half a glass so we was riding so they had a police checkpoint and so the guy called in hey how you doing how you doing i, I said i'm doing fine he said you had any, anything to drink i said now one drop now one drop <laughs> 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 he said i said now one drop like that right and I had, because uh, Correct Heart was the, uh, I'm not going to tell y'all what it is. I'm going to give y'all a recipe. It's real be drunk, blame FOB. But I had, I had the bottle sitting beside me, right? And he couldn't tell the top. He said, what's that? I said, it's a bottle. Bottle what? I said, it doesn't matter. This is my property inside my property. So he asked me what I, he would breathalyze and step out and all that. So I said, nah, man. I said, I got to go on my way. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I said, I got to go on my way, man. Like that, right? He let us go, you know, let us go. You know, my wife, she was a little nervous. She spraying perfume all the way. I'm, I'm smelling like, uh, uh, back then it was, it was probably white diamond. I'm like, man, damn. But anyway, with that, my name is Quinnop, man. Y'all got any questions, ask your brother. Get your website again, Akim. Um, um, www.creditorsdebtorscontractingcommerce.org. That's right. So hit the brother up, man. Uh, like I said, we're going to try to have a lecture, uh, uh, most high will, in D.C. sometime, maybe this summer. Or this spring, or probably even sooner than that. It depends on the response that we get out of D.C., Baltimore, Maryland, Virginia, to have a lecture on that. And we're going to be having a lecture ourselves. We're going to be doing a lecture on uh, health, you know, uh, your, your, the genes in your body, what 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 they're doing to us as a people, how they put stuff in our uh, DNA and trying to change us up, morph us, I guess, to that gorilla that that guy say that, that he's from, you know. So with that, my name is Quinnah Bunya Howard Bunya Shirella. Shalom, tell the doctor, shalom. Shalom, Abaya Ben Yashallah, shalom.